And then about a week later, we get a phone call from him. Harley Davidson dealership that I'm at in Virginia, West Virginia, says that this bike is catastrophic engine failure. Hey guys, welcome to the Bikes and Beards channel. So if you guys are wondering what's going on with the Caleb crash situation from last week, um, we took drone, you saw the drone footage from the, at the end of the last video. We sent that to the police department that they used that drone footage. They said it didn't really sway them because they were already on the same side as us, but they said it was really good to see the perspective. So that, that was awesome. The CB77, we still have no idea what's going on with that from the first three videos. Uh, motor's still getting rebuilt. The carcass of the bike is sitting over there and we're pretty pumped about that. Um, so we're waiting on for the insurance company. I guess we're gonna be dealing with the insurance for the, uh, for the low rider. And you guys might wanna keep an eye on that. That might be something that you're gonna, that's gonna come up in the future. Maybe a giveaway bike. Maybe we'll sell it the way it is. Maybe we'll build it up. I'm not sure, but we're, it's a lot of potential. We're pretty pumped about it. So let me fill you guys in. About a year ago, we got, a, we got an email from a guy named Keith from the UK. This 100% sounds like a scam. And he tells us that he wants to buy a bike from us. He watches our YouTube channel. We've actually seen him comment on some of our YouTube videos. And at that point, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty pumped. We're pretty excited about it. So he tells us what he wants. He tells us he's going to come down in a couple months and he's going to tour America for about six months on his motorcycle. Hit up Sturgis, hit up Virginia Beach, just kind of go around the, the country. And we're super excited uh, to be a part of it. So he wires us the money. We get him a really nice deal on a bike. We, we take the bike to Harley Davidson and pretty much give him a blank check. Whatever it needs, fix it. Uh, they're very happy to spend our money. Uh, we get the bike back. It sits around for a while. And then Keith finally shows up. We were so excited. It wasn't, it was, we didn't look at this as a normal transaction, a normal dealership transaction, just selling a bike to a guy. We looked at this as we were selling America. We needed to sell the American dream to this British guy. And that's exactly what we were gonna do. I'm looking for someone named Keith. He looks like this. I'm looking for someone named Keith. He's from the UK. No? Take a look again. Okay. Thank you. So we pick him up, we had a limo at the time, I don't recall why, we had a limo at the time, we pick him up in the limo, uh, first went to the, we thought he was going to be at the train station, I don't know how this got mixed up, we all have cell phones, we're waiting at the train station for about an hour, and then he sends us a, te a text saying he's already at the hotel, so we jump, we jump back in, we go to the hotel, we, we get that all, we pick him up, we finally get to meet him, super cool guy, we have a great time talking with him. And then we bring him back and we show him the bike. He's ecstatic about it. All right. This is freaking awesome. Bam, that's your bike. And your chair. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted black. That's I the best way to go. I wanted black, but I was like, I'm just going to have to have the color I, um, you can get. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and it's got a center stand. Yeah, that's unusual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they don't take it stands. No. What's up, guys? I'm Sean from SRK Cycles. This is my man, Keith. Keith, where are you from? I'm from the UK. Guys from the UK! <laughs> this guy just flew in from the UK. What does UK stand for, just for people that don't know? United Kingdom. And you're, you're, you're British? I'm British. We've got some, we, got, we bought some Lancaster, local Lancaster County gifts for him. First, we got you a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool dudes. <laughs> I've got to wear this at Sturgis. <laughs> yup. All of our goofy names. Right. I love Intercourse, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I saw the, the you show. You saw the TV show? Yeah. All right. 
Is that apple pie? This is <laughs> this is shoe fly pie, and this is chocolate pecan pie. Ah, chocolate. He actually gives us some cool stuff. These are made up. What? That's awesome. These are made out no. Of no! Is this, this is made out of my racing tires that are no good. That is the dopest no thing way. ever. I've put some holes in it, but you'll just have to make it. Check. You may <laughs> need to cut it down a bit more. You getting this? These are so sick. These are belts. Yo, he made us these custom belts, and this is out of a racing tire. That's this is insane. insane. We take them to the shooting range. Uh, he's, he's, he's British, so they don't have guns over there. I don't think even the police have guns. Yeah. So we, we spent about two days with the guy, uh, took him out to eat, I think he, he did not sleep at the shop, we took him back to his hotel, um, took a little while to get insurance for the bike, but we just had a great time hanging out with him. Then uh, uh, we let him off, actually the limo broke, at one point in time we were driving to some place and the limo broke. Oh yeah, that is cool looking. Yo, anybody could have a limo, but to have a limo lowrider? Oh yeah, it's sagging both sides. I hope I didn't blow the airbags. Hello, it's it. Wow, Justin. Wow. wow. It's a full size limousine. Full size limousine. And look, I'm on the hood. Um, that was pretty cool. So he left, we're gone, uh, out of sight. And then about a week later we get a phone call from him. And he's kind of bummed out. He's he, he, he was a really cool, really calm guy. You could tell he's kind of frustrated. He calls us up and he's like, the Harley Davidson dealership that I'm at in Virginia, West Virginia, says that this bike is catastrophic engine failure. And I was like, oh no. So he's about, he's about six hours away, maybe six and a half hours. And he's bummed out because he's, he's getting all, he's hearing all this stuff from the, from the dealership right now. They're like, they're trying to sell him a new bike. They're trying to sell him. $7,000 to replace the motor. They're just, you know, all these things. He's like, I, I don't know what to do. They're, they're telling him that we ripped him off, that we sold him a bad bike, and that we're not his friends, they're his friends. You know what I mean? It was just this funny situation. So, I mean, we only had one option. We are right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now we're about 45 minutes outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. About an hour and 45 minutes outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're about 300-ish miles from Keith, and we are coming to rescue him. So basically, we're going to throw his uh, now-dead Ultra in this car in this motorcycle trailer we rented from U-Haul. Uh, we have a big trailer, but it felt like kind of a waste to drive a huge trailer in the whole of West Virginia. Oh! All right, guys, we just got into Maryland. Keith, we're coming for you! Um... We just got into Maryland. Staff, how many hours we got left? We have about, actually we're about 25 minutes away. <laughs> then add another three hours to it. So three hours, 25 minutes away. Um, we were just followed by a cop for the last like 40 miles, so I was doing my due diligence to stay the speed limit. Uh, we had some, uh, we had some sheets, refueled. This video is not sponsored by sheets, so I'm cutting that out because they didn't pay me to say that. <laughs> This is a segment we like to call laughing at trucks while we pass them on the road. <laughs> oh baby, the West Virginia Welcome Center. We're here, Keith. We're coming for ya. you. You go, Nate. What's up, guys? So it is now 12:35 a.m. And we just made it to Charleston, West Virginia. We are in South Charleston. Keith, we're coming for you, baby! We are coming for you! The Harley Davidson. Where on earth is my main man, Keith? 
Keith. Keith, where are you? Donde esta? It's a Harley Davidson and Count. Oh, he made some friends. <laughs> My main man, Keith. Huh? No, I'll turn it off for a second. Sorry, we gotta get some footage, Keith. So we just got here. We're checking out the bike. Oh, get that in there, get that in there. Oh, that's gnarly. So that busted off. Wow. Dang. Didn't think we'd be meeting in this situation. Uh, Keith slept in the back of the car. We got the bike back here. Um, exactly what they said was the problem was the problem. It was you would think it'd be the uh, the cam chain tensioner, uh, which is a very not a very common but fairly common. Uh, that's kind of the weak link of that motor of the 88 twin cam. But what the problem was was the the camshaft bearing um, on the outside of the camshaft that goes into the, uh, the actual uh, crankcase just started walking on us. So imagine here's the camshaft, here's the bearing. It's supposed, this is actually the crankcase. This is the, this is the camshaft case, casing and the bearing. The bearing's built into the, the, the casing. Here's the camshaft. It's in there. Uh, it's, it's spinning around. It starts walking on you. So it, 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 gets, it gets loose, it's making a little bit of metal. Um, it's making the hole bigger than, than what, the, what the camshaft is. And things start getting messed up at that point. And the only way to solve it is you can't just pull the bearing out. The bear, it's kind of a goofy design. The bearing is part of the crankcase. So you have to replace the crankcase. Um, it, it was catastrophic engine failure. And you know, when we got the bike back, it had, they had torn it all apart. We had a big box of parts. Um, we were able to, while he was gone, a 2008 or 2013, a 2008 Harley Davidson Heritage came in with like 1,200 miles. The cleanest bike, it was a, it was a, it was a limited um, uh, color, the 105th anniversary one. And it was just beautiful. He fell in love with that bike. We paid full price for his bike, gave him, uh, he paid a couple extra bucks to, to get the Heritage because it was a much newer, much nicer bike with no miles on it. And then he was, he was back out on the road and I don't, we've only heard from him maybe once or twice. Everything went well. I'm not sure if he kept the bike and shipped it overseas or if he sold it once he was here. Uh, he never actually filled us in on it. Keith, if you're out there, let us know. <coughs> Road glide turn up. And get out of here, Keith! Keith. Leave! Jesus Gosh, Keith! Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Get out of here! Okay. Got a dragon. All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We we'll have another awesome video video for you next week. We don't know what it's going to be about, though. We'll see you guys later.